It is century 20, decade 2, year 1. I arrived in this born identity of Nicole Cataruza, century 19, decade 7, plus 8 year. Um, I'm in Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361, in my sheetrock prism, prison, whatever. Um, I have a bio, like, an epigenetic copy of my own chromosome, except he has an Audi, I have an any. I have the ability to hold... A human hold and grow a human in my body. Uh, he does not. Um, so that's the only difference between he and I. Um, being Anthony Tiafrio, the 2012 Mayan calendar baby that I had, and I hate his name, but it is whatever it is. For whatever reason, it arrived in such a manner. Um... There, he drew for me in using one's own biogenic capability in Linda Marie Gunder, 1949, was a dud. She was a genetic host who was able to grow a second body, which was spiritually attached to the life programming and the cosmology machine in astrogenetics um, as a zodiac lifeboat of the infinity loop system where the two universes of parallel dimension perturb one another ever so slightly and diverge and transcendence can take place back and forth for human messenger purposes. Not that this version of human that I arrived to even has that level of under or overstate. Um, and I don't know about the other humans that exist at this point. I really... I've floated in and out of their consciousness, like, uh, however, they perturb my, um, travel system, but, um, and then it's transcendence in a physicality, uh, and physicians type of a way, not in a doctorate, um, so Anthony Tiafrio arrived here with born in 2012, um, through my body cavity, uh, as I arrived through Linda's. Now, I had, um, was gifted, but then tossed aside. It's almost like the humans started some program inside some portion of the machine where it was like you walk in with a turkey under your arm and you walk out with a roast beef under your arm. Now, I don't understand why they turned it from a turkey to a roast beef. That never made any sense to me. But I know somewhere in the world, it confirms whatever part of the story that they're working on. Now, if I'm going to dissect um, my son, who is nine years old, and I call him Cat Scratch, with the three, um, in, in the daily, in day label area, we call him Nucci, but when I make private file for he and I at Extremophile and Halophile, um, I use Cat Scratch with the Roman numeral three and the hand signal to know that I have special designated stuff set aside just for him and his future and for what I'm trying to work on for my own health ministry and documentation aside from whatever turmoil and whatever inherited problems I arrived to being that Linda and Lou were so useless. Um, there is 
a three-dimensional, actually there's a, it's a nine-dimensional, there's a nine-dimensional, uh, we'll call it world at the moment, um, that exists with this specific journey at Forensic, and then there's a problem in the track system at the end of it. Um, this was, this is prehistoric property of my genetic copy machine being my Nicole Caterusa, and whatever I grew here and came out the human way of one exit, and then we are attached for this exodus and Genesis, um, and then we share the same story, um, which is why Romer and um, for my purpose anyway, Romer and Tiafri are totally useless. I mean, along other lines, but whatever. They're just problems in human genetics that I didn't need. It just gives too many humans, too many, like, areas to make excuses and non nonsense and then call people names and block people and cause even bigger problems. All right, this is the exposed road. If there is a tunnel of your life, like, you go through, this is what's been exposed. This is the cat. So this is what, I suppose... When the machine shuts off, and which is what the human calls sleep, this is where he and I go. So this part is prehistoric, already recorded, almost like a forensic trail to explain what is discovered while we circadian rhythm, my children and I, while I am here stuck in this universe uh, with a broken galaxy and being able to travel back and forth between Milky Way and Solar System in order to keep a spiritual awareness of the galaxy that is broken since it's heating up and it's affecting... That machine is starting to pulsate, which is sending out vibrations through Solar System, and it's also affecting the sphere, which is the Earth that we're currently housed on. Um, so this would be the pieces that we've encountered along the circadian um, to try to almost meld the nighttime, what's a, almost like a, an outside nighttime community. And then when you wake up in your day label, you try to connect to whatever that was in some overlay of your daily routine. But what's happened is the daily routine that I've been painted into is so useless that it's hard to send communication factor to the people that I need because I'm being housed in a sheetrock 8x10 with an 8-foot ceiling cage that I can walk out of, but it's really in a relevant position. So, um, if this is the tree of life that my, that I arrived on, or even my son arrived on, what's happening is the energy system coming in and that we're giving off, we're not hardwired and we're not wired by soft wire into the system the right way anymore. I arrive differently than Linda. I'm on a different, so I'm in a zodiac boat. She's just human. And I don't know what else to do. She was supposed to be handled a different way, but it never happened. Um, but if this is almost like uh, giving off viral code because the machine is starting to break and the wiring is no longer sending the right signal to the body machine and there's 
that's it. I mean, like, there's sickness starting to take over. This pattern back here, which humans call a mountain, for me, it's more of a wave pattern. It's that sphere that we're, the repoggle that we are on, the one marble ball, is getting vibrations from outside, but there's also stuff going on in the center because it's being pulled off of its coordinate points, its geospatial points, because my geonatology anatom, anagram is sending and receiving signals that's sending to a much larger machine, that the machine has the points of energy wrong, and it's throwing, um, it's recording and reporting to a galactic size machine, which is recording points of energy, which is starting to pick up those vibrations because the points of energy at physical earth realm are in the born messenger system are so far off of the zodiac and sundial that they were like temperate to as in like a temperature in a room at the nest so that's off it's sending galactic off which is heating up a core system that keeps the solar system functioning properly and then it's further because the children are shaking but don't know they're shaking it's causing further degregate in the earthly climactic system um my son just simply drew a cat which would be representative of he and i just sitting here one at a time and then this is the um the representative see how he has it shaded here this is the nuclear fusion reactor because out in deep space territory, they show the Milky Way as, I'm sorry, they show the galaxy as a one-dimensional feature. So if I look at the galaxy this way, it would be a spiral. But if I look at it this way, it looks like just a... Um, shadow projection really like a light coming out of a hollow feature that's sending light out through a hole that would be the amount of light that's coming out and radiating which is what these lines are projecting that they're going the lights coming out and it's only right here a slice but then there's a hollow core with a dense overture overlay on top of it but it's also sending out wave signals um and then there's the earthly understanding since that's at a higher like dome level of um what we see in the what we don't see past the sky and the clouds and then this would be your earthly awareness of a tree and a cat and then this would be a house or a home. He called it an abode, which I thought was interesting and not a word I hear from him very often. A, B, O, D, E, and then E. Um, I know that's because it's the circle and then it's the melody stick for one bubble of a world within a world. Um, to go with the forensic analysis that he and I already were born with and did. And it also tells the story about how the flag got written, the treaties, and the, the partnerships that we had along the way. So now that's Anthony's contribution. Uh, to that contribution, uh, as well as my own, um, and thanking him profusely for even though he's nine years old, and this just looks like something human that humans do, and he doesn't know that this is tetra, or crop circle, or whatever UFO calls it, and what these particular, the particulates mean, and when I try to explain it to him, he doesn't want to listen, which is fine. I don't need to push what I know on him. I let him be human, and I just thank God where I just thank my, the main machine for granting me his sequence so this way I could have a human hand.
to help me with the journey. So then I have this, which is, it's September 11th, 2021. Um, it's an anniversary in New York that's important to some people. For me, I don't really know what the significance of the towers going down where. They don't, there's no update. They just said some planes hit it. There were some people in there. They died. It was a horrible collapse. And significance, I don't have any. Couldn't tell you. I wasn't brought into FEMA. I wasn't brought in... To the loop with national anything. I wasn't brought into the loop with the state of anything. They just ignored me and I was just out in Suffolk. That's it. And then I came to Great Neck every day. And there was no talk about it. There was no anything. So, um, on this particular thing, there's a television program, which is Tell A Vision. The show's title, though, says Chicago Fire. I have the time frame. It's Century 20. It's a decade of either 0, 1, or 2, and it's a year of either 0 or 1. The character that I question, his stage name, the first is Kareem Saeed, is the way that you pronounce it with sound, only because it has two dots over a letter that changes the intonation, but it works out to be the spelling, the Coptic optical illusion of the sound said, S-A-I-D, which is right there. Then he plays a character called Bowden, Chief Bowden or Battalion Chief Bowden, whatever. And he seems on TV to be like this really great leader, this really great guy, and oh my god, and he is as dark coffee as his people come, with no milk in there whatsoever. So now, um, he is, shows great leadership and everything, and he's got a mixed cast of just milk and some tea with milk and some coffee with milk in between of nobody's getting too crazy. But the more important factor is there's a word in the diction called uh, foreboden, like to forebode something is like, we no longer say, f I mean, we do say forbidden, but bid, B-I-D, is indicative of some value and then offers and opens a door for challenge and money and opportunity, which is a problem. So you usually just cut it off and it's foreboden. That's it. Now, this becomes a problem if someone's name or stage name is Bowden, because now what are you doing if you're saying it's for Bowden? Are you designated by saying for the word for, that it is going to this forbidden piece? That gets confusing. Um, so I wrote, uh, there is a human turn term foreboding also in this turn of events, the one that I'm currently experiencing, not in the show. The show is whatever the show was scripted for and however that got created and whoever's taking responsibility, good, bad, and indifferent. Um, but then there's a term, the four-letter patchwork of S, A, I, and D put together is a four-letter key-op code within mainframe system for human mental disease and cognition. Um, and I wrote here, I wrote the, the four letters um, not being attached to a person necessarily. However, the dots fall for whatever sound it creates without any dots, uh, with, with just the dot over the I, it's pronounced said. It, um, it now changes the syntax, S-Y-N, and I put it in red, tax. That is why the character placement with audience and spoken message carrier is so very crucial to fixing this, what I'm experiencing, human plague, attack, and mental disease. What happens is you have this amazing 
male, strong leader character that everybody falls in love with leading these this mixed bag team. But what happens is when the audience is its own kindred, it's a win and a success. When I'm the audience or my son and children are the audience, it's a failed endeavor and it plagues and crucially and critically wounds the system of syntax and being able to take responsibility because one of his people are going to get hurt and so are mine in a lose-lose situation, which is why the television, the journalism, and the broadcast was so crucial that you know who your audience is, who is going to see these messages, and who are you trying to lead, or who are you trying to mislead by misrepresenting yourself as this great leader that loves his mixed cast. But in long haul project, you leave the stage studio and you're going back to your quiet, all you terrorist organization to then figure out ways to pick off all the other people's kids. And that's what's been going on. It's coming in with a turkey and leaving with a roast beef. It's like, so you're stealing our kids through tell a vision by misleading them, misprogramming, disarming them into thinking you're this great character on some TV show, but meanwhile you go to Sunday church or whatever program you as ascribe to, and you're telling your people to genetically attack them and rip them off the planet completely. How's that one going to work at syntax billing and sewing and reaping? I'm just curious. Because I see my white people getting really sick, I also saw this morning a, a National Historic mention of uh, Savannah, Georgia, uh, Ohio was in there, and something else for the Uni USA, which is United States of America, which is North America only at this point. Um, and it had all of the dying disease as they were trying to build the railroad and all sorts of stuff, and I really saw a lot of my genetic closet in there. I did not see any dark skin. Like, there's no Caribbean bean counters kids in there. There's no roast beefs in there. They were strictly turkey, meat, cooked, color, all of them, starving to death, getting really thin and frail, and all of their death pictures and they have um, death headstones in cemeteries in the 1600s. So it was the 16th century is what they're claiming. And then there's some from the 18th century, so they claim, um, in the different states around the United States of America. But then that gets confusing to where I am in a 19th century lead into a 20th century as to how the hell did they get this far in advanced in building and whatnot, when in the 16th century, all the way to the 18th century, they were still building the same railroad? That catalog numeric system is just not working for me in the state of New York. It gets very confusing. I think that we lost time and space somewhere in a slice of bread program, but I'll tell you that all of those death photos were only of... The milk farmer's kids, there was no, what, there was no Chinese restaurant kids or Korean restaurant kids from Bayside. They're not represented in any of those 16th century or 18th century war photos of the people being starved to death and dying. That's what the documentary, and that was played on, it had a fish. And it was played on NET. N-E-T was the name of the broadcast. Which is also interesting because I saw a gentleman the other day come to the NYPD 111 precinct. And he had Brooklyn and NETS, N-E-T-S, on the arm. That's a basketball team that's local. I forgot that they exist. So there's the Mets, which is Shea for baseball. And then there's the NETS, which is basketball. And they're out of Brooklyn, I think. But I don't really hear about them ever. 
They're not advertised in Queens, or at least in my neighborhood. Not much is advertised in my neighborhood of Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. As I walk around looking at advertising, there's nothing. And I really have to rely on the um, TV, the television, but they only really advertise drugs from the pharmaceutical companies. They don't really advertise. They advertise that and lawyers, but lawyers for stupid stuff that don't really make sense to somebody who really needs money and opportunity. Um, let's think about this. All right, so it's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Caterusa. Uh, again, it's September 11th, 2021. Um, and it goes back to, if the United States of America and North America catches a disease for Main Street USA, who do we rely on for help? Because I really don't see them. Then I watched something this morning about the 9-11 commission that happened with the towers falling. And, like, there was some guy, not Rod Stewart, I don't know, some Stewart, and um, some other New Yorker, these two guys, headed up this big thing that they went to Congress. They were fighting for the first responders. He actually had... A really nice way of explaining like a non-uniformed army which I appreciated that perspective this morning but I couldn't watch the whole thing because he engaged some like really doesn't give a shit rich guy who's like trying to do questions of him and I'm just I wasn't feeling it I'm like the guy on the couch is just really gross like uh, I'm not feeling his like He's so disingenuous. There's no genuine anything, but whatever. Um, so, uh, let's think. So then there was that. Oh, and he was saying that they've been going to Congress for like the last 18 years getting nowhere. Like Congress doesn't give a... F they're like, then they made them seem like they were crazy for saying they were sick, and they're like, and he's even said, he's like, we became like doctors in our own defense, um, trying to, um, get through to these, like, mentally diseased congressional people of doesn't get it, or is paid to purposely deny everything. Could be either one, I have no fucking clue. Um... So that happened this morning, but again, names, I mean, like, it's, they just, they go in my eyes and out the back of my head. I mean, I can't remember, and I don't even think this guy had a name up on the screen. They're so irrelevant. It's more the shape of the face, and even that's, like, iffy if I'm going to even remember the symmetry of the face, depending on um, the classification and the zodiac boat that I'm working on in this fashion and who I need to come across because I come across a lot of things that were totally irrelevant it's like just more wasting and more excess in a system that really needs specific things to be done and I can't help myself but I don't know where to turn either